<laughs> hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Labor Studios, back again with another episode of For the Love of Monday. <laughs> yes, 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 first post in 2017, been away for a little bit, but you know, we have to take some time to kind of regroup and get things right, make these videos tight. Hope everyone's 2017 is off to a great start. Um, in today's post, I am going to share with you an article that I recently read from, uh, I found on the BehindTheHustle.com, a website that, you know, kind of talks about, you know, uh, you know, career development, you know, personal development, productivity tips, you know, as well as kind of how to, you know, find side hustles and, you know, network with influencers. And so today's article I am, that I pulled up, I am reading or I'm going to review um, it is called 13 things that are preventing you from your success. I'm just going to go down the list of these 13 things but I'll also say is that I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert. Okay. Um, I'm just like you uh, trying to find ways to kind of make myself better, you know, gain some personal growth, you know, also kind of, you know, some productivity hacks, some things that kind of help the journey that I'm on go a little bit smoother. So, the number one thing that's preventing your success is pushing off responsibility. Okay, you know, you gotta understand that you gotta take responsibility for all the choices that you make, you know, whatever they may be, you know, to be a success. So the number two reason why you are preventing your own success is that you procrastinate. Okay, you gotta understand that procrastination is like using a credit card, you know, saying when you're spending and you're buying all those things and you're having such a good time, you know, at a certain point the credits come calling, you know, and, and then the fund's over and you gotta pay the dues, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, understand that procrastination is just like that. You know, uh, there's even a, a law, they call it the law of diminishing intent. And it says basically that let's say you have an idea or you're you know excited about a project that you're working on. The longer you put that off, you know, whether it's you know, you know, because you're doing this or you'll say you'll do it tomorrow or whatever it is, the longer you put that off, the the, the more or the less urgency you'll have to complete that task in the long run. And at a certain point you'll put it off and you'll never get it done. So, you know, that's procrastination. That's the, the devil of procrastination. So let's right now swear off this devil of procrastination. Sorry. So let's swear off this devil of procrastination and let's get things done now. The number three reason why you are preventing your own success is that you're trying to be, be a perfectionist. And you gotta understand that there's no such thing as perfection, you know, so get that out of your mind. You gotta understand that, you know, things are gonna be messy, you know. For myself, as an artist, sometimes I'll start a drawing and it just comes out really, really ugly, you know, or it starts really, really ugly. And, you know, there's a hint of, I should quit, I should stop, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but if you push through, if you push through, like from what I learned, is that at a certain point, you'll start getting into it. You'll enjoy the, 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 the ugliness. You'll, you'll, you'll start seeing the beauty that's created in making mistakes and you know not being so perfect or trying to be so perfect. So understand being a perfectionist is not something you're tr you should necessarily try to achieve. Uh, you should understand that you know, being a perfectionist is something that's gonna really get in, in your way and hindering you from the journey. The number four thing that's preventing your success is the fear of criticism. Okay, and you gotta understand this. No matter what you're doing and how you're going about it, there's gonna be people who are gonna criticize it. Okay, and you also gotta understand that there's good criticism and there's also bad criticism. And you just gotta understand how to use good criticism. And at the same time, you gotta understand you don't want and you can't please everyone all the time so you know take a stand for what you believe in and use the good criticism to make yourself better the 
The number five reason why you're preventing your own success is that you have a fear of failure. Okay, and a fear of failure is normal. A fear of failure is, everyone has it, but you gotta understand that that fear, as much as that is okay, it can't prevent you from taking steps to achieve the success that you're looking for, achieve the goals that you have set for yourself. You know, it's okay to have that fear, but you gotta also take the steps to get past that fear and actually achieve the goals that you want. The number six reason why you're preventing your own success is that you're lazy. Okay, you know, you gotta understand that if you're working the same amount of hours as your competitor, you're losing because, you know, you're not putting in that much more effort to become better. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand that you gotta work your butt off. Okay, you gotta put in the hours, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's, you know, starting earlier or working later than the next person, you gotta put in the hours to gain the success that you're looking for. Number seven reason why you are preventing your own success is that you lack originality or creativity. You gotta dare to be different. You gotta be unique. You know, you gotta find the thing that makes you different than the next person and use that to your advantage. The reason why you are preventing your own success is that you played solo. Okay, you gotta understand that we as humans are designed to flourish together. You know what I'm saying? So when you need help, don't be afraid to ask. You know, and when you can add value to someone else, you know, give it freely or just you know give it. You know, um, at the same time, you can't expect to receive if you don't give. So you know, that's kind of the process. You want to receive, you definitely gotta give. The number nine reason why you are preventing your own success is you're ungrateful. Okay, an ungrateful attitude is not going to get you anywhere. And you also got to understand is that you know a, a, a grateful attitude is going to help you or help your happiness a great deal. So you know this is one that I've kind of learned from, and one of the things that I do to kind of keep myself mindful of being grateful for certain things is that every night before I go to bed. I try to write down five things within the day that I was grateful for. You know, um, whether it's you know running to a um, you know a friend from from school that I went to you know a while back, and then they gave me a good a good word, or even just you know someone I didn't necessarily know that well that gave me a good word, or you know pointing me in the right direction, something that made me feel good. You know, um, I try to, to write those things down, and even in that moment as I'm writing it down, and maybe earlier in the day it had happened. Uh, I still can reconnect with that feeling of gratitude and, and, and be, you know, it, just recreate that in that same moment and feel that same feeling and emotion and be just, you know, feel a good feeling for it. So you got to be grateful. You got to understand, you know, the power of being grateful and having gratitude and just kind of use that to help you in your journey of success. The number 10 reason why you are preventing your own success is that you don't learn from your mistakes. Folks, you gotta learn from your mistakes. You know, there's a saying, I think it was Einstein that said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And so if you're making the same mistake once, twice, three times, four times, five, six, seven times, you know, what? at what point do you expect to kind of really get anything out of it because you're making the same mistake over, you're not learning from your mistakes. The number 11 of reason why you are preventing your own success is that you don't believe in yourself. And I don't know if this should be number one, but if you don't believe in yourself, I mean, Here's a, here's a quote, uh, Confucius, he says, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually, both usually right. So it just starts with your own belief. If you believe that you can do something, then in a sense you're already 
that much closer than someone who doesn't necessarily believe that they can do it and you know, want, wants to either be talked into it or pushed into it. So if you believe you can do it, in most cases, you're definitely able to do it. So go ahead and do it. The number 12 reason why you are preventing your own success is that you don't have consistency. And this is one that I've learned and I've you know been mindful of it for some time because you know I'll even incorporate habits, um, daily habits to kind of keep me mindful of this and even to kind of track my progress is that you know if you're not being and I with the way I call it persistent and consistent, persistent and consistent, you're never ever gonna get there because you know short term, what do they call it, short burst of intensity is not gonna get you anywhere. You know, it's not going to get you on your journey of success. What you need is, what is it? Long-term consistency is always going to be short-term intensity. So you got to be able to, and the way I like to kind of even uh, uh, talk about this one is like, how do you build a wall? You build a wall by laying one brick the best you can after another one, after another, after another one, until eventually you have a, a wall that's built. So you gotta understand that you gotta be persistent and consistent. When I say persistent and consistent, you gotta be at it every single day, but you gotta be able to be consistent in the sense that you know the level of uh, 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 that you're putting in is the same each and every single time. The best of your ability. So better than today, tomorrow better than today. So that's kind of how you gotta get it. So if you're not necessarily being consistent. You know, you're, you're preventing yourself from your own success. So, be persistent and consistent. Persistent and consistent. Number 13, the final and number 13 reason why you're preventing your own success is that you stop learning. You know, successful people understand that. They gotta continually sharpen and learn new skills to be a success you know the moment you stop learning or you decide that you've got to a point in your learning uh, you know whether it be you know industry or career learning or even just personal growth the moment you stop is the moment that you ultimately fail so you gotta understand you gotta keep learning you keep pushing yourself to learn the next new thing or you know re refurbish or re brush up on some of the things that you have learned in the past and keep them fresh. So yeah, those are the 13 things that are preventing your success. Hopefully you resonate with some of these and see some of the ways that you can be a better person, you know, uh, you know, sharpen your skills and become uh, a better person in your journey to success. I know I have. I mean, that's kind of the whole reason why I took it on myself to kind of use this as my first post of 2017 and the post, first post of the uh, uh, for the love of Monday 2017. Because you know, as much as I can learn it and kind of help myself, I can better. Uh, uh, implement it into my daily habits because I'm teaching or I'm sharing with other people and showing how it has affected me or impacted my life. So uh, hopefully it's been helpful to you. Uh, if you like this video, definitely uh, give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing with the channel or the things that I'm talking about doing with the channel or the things that I have up already on the channel, definitely subscribe. And if there are, again, some of the things that resonated with you in this post, definitely leave me a comment in the comment box below which ones they were you know maybe some things that you could add to what I've kind of already commented on um, in the, the script in the comment box below so that we can kind of have a conversation and kind of in a sense maybe help each other out on our journey to success so like we always do at this time have a blessed day see you on the flip side let's go